Man, look at all that wood. That is, that is gonna be a big, big building, taking up all of that space. I wonder if they'd be mad at me if I burned it all down. Kitty. Hi. I feel like I've been sick for months. It's not like really, really bad. It's just like every day I wake up feeling like I have a minor head cold and I just want it to go away. So is today the day that the people get to find out what your secret is, Claire? Well, by now they will already know my secret because my channel is up to date. <laughs> 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 We're on the way to Claire's secret thing. Yay, but it's not the secret thing. Oh, right. It's on a... It's a portion of the secret uh, thing. We're, we're on our way to a secret practice for yeah. a secret thing. That, that's accurate. Okay. So please welcome to the stage from the Zulu Montana. So you're doing a bikini competition. Yeah, I am. It's a weird thing to sit in front of a bunch of people and judge their bodies. Yeah, I guess. So I was mostly just uncomfortable the whole time. <laughs> Why? Not wanting to look anywhere other than people's eyes because... That's not the point. Modest is the hottest. It's very obvious that you have the most body control. Really? Out of the other, I mean... That's surprising yeah. though, because she's done like four shows before. I mean, no names. The other girl, she's just really, I don't know, her posing's just really good. I can't, like with you and Steph in there, like I can't do it. I can't be in my mode because like, I mean, that's kind of how it is at cheer tryouts too. Like a lot of cheerleaders struggle with tryouts because having nine people sitting in front of you with a clipboard is not realistic. Like you're in front of a crowd engaging with everyone and that's what you're used to. So some people, even the older girls, really struggle with like when there's nine judges in front of you and everyone's quiet and they're just staring at you. Like it's hard to be like, let's go Chris, here we go Montana. And everyone's just like, it's dead silent. So that's how it was with you guys. I can't, I can't bring out my seductive face. And like, I think the, the main critique that I had of your thing was that you were doing your, I'm sort of embarrassed, lip yeah. purse face. Yeah, that was, that was very much real. But it won't be like that when it's not just you. Like when it's a bunch of people, I'm gonna seduce everyone. You ate an omelet and a bunch of pancakes and then some three more pancakes. And I guess, what is that, a third of three pancakes? So, so one, four one. pancakes. <laughs> Stefan does math. <laughs> <laughs> math with Stefan. I was just on the Aranda Knots subreddit and uh, noticed that a few days ago someone asked uh, about who exactly owns the cats that live here. So this is Radius. I got Radius in 2010. I think it was maybe a month or two before the first VidCon. When I got Radius, I also got another cat that I named Axis. So when I lived in California, I lived in this townhouse, and Radius liked to stay inside, but Axis liked to be an outside cat. And eventually it just got to the point where he would only ever come back to the house every once in a while, and for the most part would just like live outside in the middle of the whole complex that I lived in. And then when I was moving away from California, I couldn't even find him, so he was just he became an outside cat, and I assume he still lives in that complex. This is Index. I got him maybe a month or two before the third VidCon in 2012. For a very long time, I didn't know what to name him, but eventually, I don't remember how it came about, but I settled on Index. Radius is very elegant and graceful and seemingly intelligent, sometimes aloof. She's only lovey when it's on her terms. Index, on the other hand, is... Uh, he's maybe not as smart as Radius is, and he's certainly more clumsy, but he is always down for the pets. There is never a time when he is not ready to be loved. Index will also often come when called, and Radius just... she doesn't care. It's sleep time now, and I have a computer science midterm in the morning, so my plan is to study 
until I fall asleep. I would do the right cat, right thing, but it's really dark, so you probably won't be able to see her. Right cat? Right.